Boot 2025. Wir sind am Stand von Scuba Force. Und mir gegenüber ist ein interessantes Projekt platziert. Okay. We're gonna talk right now in English and switch to English. What we can see and who are you? I'm Aviad Kahana. I am the owner and founder and inventor of the Avelo system. Um, and would you like me to explain to you how things work? For sure. Let's go. Let's go. So, carbon fiber tanks have not been in the scuba industry, but have been in any other industry, including oil and gas and chemical industry with very demanding application. Special units are using them. Uh, firefighters are using them. They're very strong and durable tank and they've been in marine environments for a long time but not in scuba because they're too light they're buoyant and so there's no point in paying for something that's too buoyant because then you just add lead weights and what's the point however the way to actually use them is in a device that has a dynamic bladder inside the velo system is a tank inside of another tank. You have a shell that is really light and very strong. I mean, this thing is rated to very high bar. It's, 30, it's 300 bar for the scuba industry, but it's a much higher pressure where that it can withstand. This is the tank that you actually breathe from. It's a bladder. When you fill that tank with air, the bladder will go all the way down and will take the entire inner volume of the tank. You don't have to fill it at 300 bar. 200 bar is fine. It's a 10 liter tank. Because it's so light and buoyant, when you jump into the water with this, you're buoyant. When you're ready to dive, you use the jetpack. This is the jetpack. The jetpack, this is the battery side. And this is the pump side. And all this does, it's a pump that takes water from here and pumps it into the tank that you're seeing here. So what will happen is you pump usually about a liter of water is all you need. The liter of water will come and be here and around it will flow here around the tank and the bladder will, will compress ever so slightly and this is enough to get your head underwater. Once you're neutral, you're neutral. You look down, you swim down and you stay neutral and depth doesn't matter. Unlike a BC, that a BC is essentially a lift bag that you have to put weights on, but then you have to manage it the whole dive. Here there's nothing to manage, because once you, you go down, the, the ambient pressure doesn't affect what's happening inside the tank. This is essentially a solid. So you go down and you swim. For about 30 minutes, you will feel no change in buoyancy. In fact, in the certification program, we make you do a very large uh, depth change you go all the way down to say 18 meters and up to the safety stop and then back down and you see that no buoyancy changes are needed. That is true for three millimeter suits, five millimeter suits, seven millimeter suits, it doesn't matter. Suits don't compress like we used to think that they are or not, they do compress just not anywhere near what we thought. From then on, the rest of the dive, you have perfect neutral buoyancy for about 30 minutes. What will happen in those 30 minutes is that you ever so slowly lose mass because you breathe it out. But it goes in grams. When you get to about 700 grams or 800 grams that you lost, you start to feel ever so slightly buoyant, but it's not like a BC that when you feel buoyant, it starts to take you up. This is very gradual. All you need to do is you run another cycle. A cycle is another liter and the bladder will do this and you have another 30 minutes of a dive. It is far better than what we're used to scuba right now because very quickly you get to the, the idea that you really don't need to manage buoyancy and it's very intuitive because you have a longer time to do that, which means you get a longer dive time, significantly lo longer dive time because you're calm the whole dive and you're in that perfect you know, sweet spot and you stop thinking about it. So, and we quantify that data. We have tools that quantify your workload underwater and we can show you how much even even a very experienced professional, even course directors and instructor trainers that tell us that no no my air consumption is great. Let, you let can us prove, let, you can prove it. Yeah, let us show you. Let alone a recreational diver that dives occasionally, we can do a lot more. Like you get a lot more your vacation, you get a lot more dive time, 
you're a lot more relaxed and it's safer. The failure modes in this are a lot safer than standard. When you lose a weight or you have a hole in your BC or the BC inflates, it creates a much bigger um, force on you. With this, you will always be within either you know, a half a kilogram too heavy to a plus half a kilogram that you can easily manage by breathing. And it's not because it, there's nothing automatic about the system. It's completely manual. It just removes the elements that when they fail, okay. cause all of the, the issues. Let's start with questions. Sure. The material, how to clean it? Do I have to clean it anywhere? You don't need to clean it. The material is exactly the same material that you use in, in regular scuba hoses. Okay. So a high pressure hose and this material are exactly the same thing. Do I have to, some, to do something like a revision? To service, do I have to service a tank? Exactly like standard scuba, this is CEPED certified. It's on the same standard, it's on the same standard of methods. And so every year you do a visual inspection okay. and every five years you do a hydro testing, just like a standard tank, um, and, and it's the same. Now we certify technician to service everything that's related to the system, but on the tank itself, if you know how to do visual inspection and, and you're sending yeah. the tank to a hydro test, it's the same. Okay. What about the menu, the, the units in the back? The battery, it's battery driven? It's, the pump is battery driven, so to pump water in you need a battery. Mm -hmm. To take water out, because the, the bladder is pressurized, yeah. and even when it's not, like you can feel it, that it will always go back to its original okay. shape. So in order to purge water out, you, all you do is you open the a manual valve, and water will always come out. out. There are any, any failures I could do as a user? Yes. Which you, one? So, you can overrun the pump, yeah. you can open a purge where you shouldn't, or, or even if you didn't do things, those systems will fail. All systems fail at some point. These just fail a lot safer. So, let's say that you run out of battery, yeah. right? You, you can't pump. Nothing will happen. Your buoyancy doesn't yeah. change yeah. because, you, you again, you consume oh, yeah. air very slowly. Yeah. In fact, in your training, we will mimic that and will make you as light as you can be. And the way that it works is this. There's 2.7 kilograms of mass of gas in the tank. The worst that you can fail is to be, you know, in, that, in those proportions, whereas the BC failure is a lift of usually 15 kilograms. Okay. It, it's a much bigger failure point. So one thing is battery failure has no um, meaning in okay. Avelo. The other thing is that you can lose all the water. There's a water leak, yeah. right? The purge open or, or you know, O-ring fails. Again, the amount of water in the tank is typically between a liter to a liter and a half. So worst case, you're going to be, you know, that much lighter. And in fact, in the training, intentionally, we, we do it towards the end of the dive. So you will feel what it's like. So you'll be as light as you can be. And you see that even then you can maintain a safety stop and even a long safety stop That's with a heavy cool, wetsuit yeah. without a problem. Um, those, are, those are the two main failure points. One failure that people ask us all the time is, what happens if the bladder is compromised? Well, now that you see the device, when you have a hole, this is a huge gasket. Yeah. The bladder will stick to the wall of the tank. Okay, yeah. And as a diver, you will finish the dive without ever knowing. The only time that you know is when you're done with the dive, you put it in water and you run one more cycle into the tank to wash it with okay. fresh water. You'll see air slowly coming out. So I see you. And, and then you, you take it to a technician, you take the bladder out, you put a new one in. But again, it's not, it's not something, you will not have water in the bladder. Okay. Because air always wants to. Yeah. yeah. I suppose, yeah. Availability. Where can I get it? Right now, we have in Europe, we have one dive shop. In, which, which one? It's called Planeta Azul okay. in Cabo de Palos. Uh, based on the interest that we're seeing here, we got a lot more applications and so yeah. we believe that it will grow. Actually, the woman that runs that shop is right there, that's Amelia. Um, and we are expanding a lot more in the world. Um, there's a lot of dive shops in the US that offer this. In fact, the largest dive shops in the US are now all offering this. And they are converting. We have um, dive shops in Bonaire. Okay. The European market can and is encouraged to go to Dive France Bonaire, the, the largest shop in uh, Bonaire, is offering this for a while now, and they're diving it all the time. Uh, we have dive shop in Australia, and so on. 
how many units you already sold because this is a number I can so you, we can imagine if it's working or not with a with a so with a actually diverse, diverse Avello is more of a certification agency than yeah. an equipment manufacturer yeah we only got into sales um, two months ago yeah. Until then, we only rented the systems, we only listed to dive shops around the world. Um, there were something like uh, three to four hundred systems in circulation uh, that were used to teach a lot of divers. We are, you know, we're at a very high uh, capacity right now, yeah. and it's the classes. It's the, what Avello really sells is the classes, it's the dive shops that are selling the gear. Yeah, for sure. How much will this be? The system retails right now for $39.90. This is in USD. And we encourage dive shops to come and interact with us because it's, it's a growing product. It's a safer product. We collaborate with a lot of manufacturers uh, from the scuba industry. Okay. Right now, Shearwater and Scuba Pro are part of this. Oh, sounds good. Yep. And so... It's also the system with the back plate. It's included. Yeah, the whole thing. The harness too. The harness, the tank, everything that you're filming right now. So just so, show me manually. Wise, could you could you take it on? Yeah. yeah. So this is the system. Okay. It's made. We even have a, a whistle. Uh -huh. <laughs> right? Important. Um, the harness was made. This came from technical diving, so yeah. it's a backplate. We made it more palatable, mm -hmm. so that you have some cushioning. Yeah. There's the D-rings. You have. Um, we chose to do Molly. Okay. Um, we have some attachment that comes with it, or you can use yeah. Molly aftermarket. Um, the normal harness stuff, yeah. Yeah. This is made for you know. Uh, exactly. Smaller, like Bonaire yeah. diving, you yeah, use that yeah, you'll, if you you'll need to make one it bigger. Small one. Yeah, and again, the, the controls are behind you yeah. because you barely use it. Yeah. Through the dive, you'll use it twice. Twice. Okay. So that's the button. That's the operating button. Yeah. And on the other side, you have the purge valve. That's that's. I'm closing it right now. Okay. And really, you once you close it and you start the dive. You never you use never it. Touch it again. Yeah, until you get back to the surface, yeah. and then you let all the water out, and again you're floating. Yeah, and you're up. And you're up. And it's this is significantly lighter. Uh, for cold water diving, this sometimes saves. It depends on the person, but it can save up to 30 pounds or 15 oh, yeah. kilograms. Oh, for sure. Yeah, compared with a yeah. standard scuba. Great stuff. And how long you? How long it took from the idea? Uh, there was to a good keep, to, to hide it. So, <laughs> was it, was yeah, it hard so, to hide? So it was about five years of hardcore development. Uh, COVID didn't help, you know, I through the imagine, process. I can imagine, yeah. But the development was again to get to CE and PED and make yeah. sure that everything complies yeah, and the industry understand what's going on and developing partnerships that you need took time. Um, but we were in contact with the world. We only went commercial towards the end. So we've been commercial fully for about a year and two months and the dive shops that were around the world again was Bonaire and California, Hawaii, um, we had dive shops in Australia and right now, now starting then we Europe, went to Florida. Right, right now starting Europe. Yeah. Yeah. And right now we're starting Europe. This is, yeah. this is our foray into Europe. As I said, we had that one dive shop in Spain and all of these dive shops were pioneers. And we intentionally took like almost a year with them to train professionals, mm -hmm. to train, you know, so they'll get in the ecosystem. Because it's, as I said, it, the training is very, very important for us because this is a whole new world in yeah. the scuba industry. Yeah. It is indeed. Yeah. And this is also one of the reasons we got you, because you got the boat dive award yesterday for innovation. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were happy about this, I think. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that, that was fantastic. It's, the, the event was great. I think. Um, the whole experience of being here, let me yeah. put this down. The whole experience of coming here, seeing what 
booty is experiencing the crowd. We're so used to the U.S. market. We're used to Dima, and we know how Dima works. But it's also a also, yeah. And here, because it's consumer, yeah. we're so used to talk to dive shop owners and professionals. Yeah. Here you talk to everybody, which is great exactly. because they, 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 they come together. Got constant feedback. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's working for yeah. So let's say, first of all, thank you a lot of. Oh, thank you, sir. For good to have you here. And I think we have to do a review with this stuff, and you will see and read, and we will do some nice yeah. videos. Yeah. And we will talk to each other again. I will be happy to. Great invention. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, by the way, we just got one question our readers or our, our audience wants to go to where to get more information about you. Oh, scan this. Our website has all the information that you need. It explains the system, it explains how to get engaged, yeah. where we are, how do we work, um, the certification program for both recreational, professional, and the, even the higher level professionals like instructor trainers. We teach the technicians as well, okay. um, and we, we are a whole ecosystem, as I said, so everything right. is on the website. Thank you, sure. and have a nice show. Thank you.